Dude, Two yeah. degrees out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what's up guys? We're in Louisville, Kentucky. Juan, what's the temperature? I don't know, but it's freezing. It's two yeah. degrees out. It's what are we doing here? Where's our bike? I don't got no bikes. I wouldn't want to be riding in this weather. <laughs> We're in Louisville, Kentucky. It's, we're here for Drag Specialties Trade Show. NVP, they call it. Drag Specialties is the leader in motorcycle distribution. They do, they have uh, Parts Unlimited, that's their dirt bike division, and Drag Specialties is their V-Twin division. We're here to represent, they distribute our products. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. We're here for the weekend. So we're gonna be able to go inside, show you guys some cool stuff, show you what it's all about. There's plenty of other vendors, other industry people inside of that building right there. We have a full day, there's parties tonight, stuff going on. So let's go see what kind of bikes are in there, what kind of parts are coming out with. Get out of this freezing temp. Yeah, let's go inside. All right. Look at that. Pass bag. Cheese. Backpack. Dial. We're late. Yes, sir. Should I get a replacement badge? Yeah, he's not gonna know your name, dude. You hear that, guys? We got an hour to go get coffee. Yeah, let's yeah. have a great show. Boys, look who it is. Hey. <laughs> All right, question. We didn't answer your thing. He didn't watch the vlog yet. Who won, what bike won the drag race? The 117 with the Vasani exhaust, no tune, or the 107 with the Vance and Hines, the fueling cam chest kit, uh, Allen tune? Which bike won? I, I gotta give it to, I gotta give it to one, one doggy here. You Has think to. so? What do you have, the cameras on the, the handlebar? Yeah. Shows the finish line. That's Lance. He's That's shaking me. as a go one. Gets a better start. That's me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, did you have a bunch of tires spit out of the gate or what yeah. was that? Well, we did four, but yeah, even this is so the one even I wanted to show him. Even when we switched bikes and I rode his, so, anytime we were on his bike. Like I was I have I have drag race before, so I was a little like better off the gate. We swapped bikes, and even with me on the CBL, I got out ahead, and the 107 just motored past me like that. So you got the jump when you were on the 117. Yeah. Yeah. He, his bikes. his uh, reaction time was always a little better than mine. We had a guy at the start, guy at the finish, and then cameras on our bikes. Just your phones on the bikes, or is that no. GoPros? Oh, uh, this is still Lance, but this one's a cool one because you could see him falling asleep back there. This is me on my falling bike. Falling asleep? Still. You're going to take that, dude? <laughs> Watch. I wasn't this falling asleep. This is on my bike, but this is Lance back there. But the one I, I wasn't wanted, falling asleep my first time I spun. Well, I saw the bike. Yeah, yeah I just and spun. And then, look, watch when we switch bike. So you guys know, Juan has his wins timestamped. He shows his whole family, probably. <laughs> look. <laughs> All right. Now, okay, look, now I'm on the CBO because the speakers. So I got the jump. That's me on the CBO. About halfway down the track, I was still ahead. I'm on it, and the, the 107 just pulled away. That's look, look, cool. see that? That's your cam, dude. Yeah, dude. 472. That's Bolted right, and baby. 107. Yep. I can't let Juan beat me like that, dude. So we got to carve out another day. We come down. We build up the 117. Deal. Okay, but this time, we try to do it faster. You know, there was a lot of playing around. I think you need to bring Jake down this time. Yeah, Jake's coming. I'll make it slower. Yeah. You asked the power that his bike pulled. What what yeah. numbers did your thing? It made 107 horse to the tire and 116 torque. And how did that compare to the CBO? The CBO was like low 90s horsepower. No, it was like 95. Like 95. Still more than 10 horsepower. And then it had like 120. 20. So it torque. still made more torque. Though. But then another cool thing we did after was me on my bike weighed over a thousand pounds. We weighed our bikes and us. Oh, well, yeah, that's interesting because you and got the speakers and the lower. The bike was about 40, 45 pounds heavier. Travis, editor, was saying that uh, Pro Circuit told him seven pounds is a horsepower. So like when a rider would weigh like 15 pounds more, their bike would feel that two, two horsepower. horsepower. Give you an idea. It was fun. The 107 definitely. Juan's not worried about his diet now. Yeah. Yeah. He no, smoked yeah, you. <laughs> how, much more, how much more can I gain and still beat you? <laughs> Well, Where's I left mine in my hotel. Where's your badge? I left mine in my hotel. So he's not allowed, allowed in? Not until he gets his badge. That's right. Later, Juan. So 
up with that guy? He had <laughs> one job to do this morning. Didn't, we, didn't you already register yesterday? I forgot my badge because somebody was knocking on my door at 5.30 in the morning. 6.30. 5.30. Got my badge. The, la the last vlog, they saw you welding stuff up in the R&D room. Oh, yeah. Show, let's show them the thing, look, Let's show them all show the Show them what, this creative thing you engineered. This was last year's. All right. What was last year's? This was our display. It's basically the bagger setup, bagger floorboard, our bagger brake arm. This is a short one, and it has our uh, brake pedal. But what is this thing? Why? It's We're the adjust. Displaying. Adjustable brake arm, so it's what's it adjustable. displaying? Adjustable, all right, yeah. So what's cool about this is our brake arm is adjustable and this shows you the different levels of adjustment. So that's low, mid, and then high. And then right it there. still works too. Yep, the spring loaded. All right, show us the back side of that, dude. It's got here, these are the three positions. It's got a little spring and it's got the whole setup, the internal workings of our off the shelf break. That was pretty cool. And this is the one setting, another setting, another yep. setting, but virtually these adjustments can be made inside of our hub. Right, so this is just to replicate it. But yeah, you could do the same in here and that's an air screen. So that was cool. The, but this was the one that you were really proud of, you were working on this right one. here, ladies and gentlemen. As most of you know, we just came out with the adjustable soft tail brake linkage. So we wanted to show that off oh. as well as our brake soft tail arm. brake arm. So what's going on here? I see a mini floorboard. Mini floorboard, soft tail brake arm, our new P54 brake arm pedal. For, yep. In this case, could be used for both. This one was a little bit harder to do. One, because we incorporated incorporated the brake linkage you can see here and then like if you sh I spin it it actually what do we got going let's see check that out can so you see you're that? so you're spinning the linkage there Look at and that. you're adjusting the arm there right on right on so that was rad but to accomplish this it was a little bit more complicated just because of the configuration the way it lays out but you see that still have full functionality so you're pushing the brake I'm pushing the brake which is moving the brake arm which is then through the linkage and then through the to our air spring which we, this is basically replicating a brake reservoir yeah it gives you that resistance master cylinder but yeah it was cool it had like the little linkage got some like lubricating washers which is rad uh full functionality of our linkage and uh, this is something that modeled in SolidWorks and then uh, got to assemble and weld all in real life. So it's pretty cool. Sweet. So you did these sweet welds at midnight. I saw you welded on this shoulder bolt that you drilled and tapped. Made. Yeah, had to get some custom. We bought parts, but we also had to customize them to make it work for our uh, needs, which was rad. Uh, and it's all stainless. It's all TIG welded. So I on how this came out. And then we also made our other little. Tag this holders. required less fab, but all the spacers. I, know, I machined all those, so that was cool. Beautiful. Our new full diamond moto style grips. And uh, ARP hardware, so it's pretty sick. And then uh, we, we sell a lot of these. <laughs> right on, a lot of handlebar bags. And, 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 gloves. and the gloves. Yeah. Right on. Where are you guys from? North Carolina. Right on. Here, grab a calendar. You guys both want one? Please. Yeah. Appreciate it. Man. Yeah, grab that. Man, I got your green gloves. You don't got one to match? No. Them. I got your red, white, blue one. Here you are, you're on the vlog right now. Oh, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Say what's up. What's up, no cages family? That's there right. You go. Yesterday was negative 11 wind chill, and we drove here in a snowstorm. Well, we left about 69 degrees. Yeah. We were wearing t-shirts, and we were riding last week. Yes, yeah. we know. We know. <laughs> we just went to the drag strip last Thursday, when one, him and I, and one wax fly. <laughs> when we got done on Thursday, I called Luke on like Friday. I was like, yo, dude, we got to come and put a cam in my bike. But I think whatever Luke says to do for the 117, I'm gonna kind of let him tailor it and tell me like, hey, let's do this to it. As soon as he picks a cam for it and he opens up half a day for us to come down there and use his tools and all their knowledge over there, then it's like, we're gonna head over there and get it done. Your guys, customer service, your products, top notch. Well, one of the ladies is my mom. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so my mom helps run customer service and there's also Kelly. But both, I think it, I think it was Kelly. Yeah, Kelly and my mom, Laura, like they're both rad. Kelly rides, she rides a sports to work every Day. My mom rides this passenger on my dad's bike. Uh, 116 torque. And that's 107. Yeah, 107. Yeah, with the cam. What cam you put in? The 472. Yeah. 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 Link, so. Okay. Man, world of a difference. Like cool. it's so much snappier oh, yeah. throttle response. Yeah, that's a snappy cam. Yeah. 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 What cam are we gonna throw in my bike when we get back from here? I think the 472. Same cam. Same cam. All right. Hey, he said he's throwing the same cam that he threw in. 
your bike and my bike. Here, throw this up in your shop. It's our calendar right. for this year. Cool, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah thanks for watching. Thanks. How did his bike hang? The JC took us on on the roads. He was the leader of the pack. He had the diner, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm asking because I built that motor oh, for him. Yeah. 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 He was the leader of the pack. We had a good time. Juan and I rode the STs while we were there. Yeah, yeah. I watched that video. I was like, hey, look, that's JC. Yeah. How long have you been with House of Harley? I just started there about three months ago, actually. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I've got a O2 Sportster and then a CBO Street Glide. Oh, right on. Yeah. Sick. Best of both worlds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to match these up there. Yeah. Yep, I gotta show you something, brother. What do you got? Whoa, That's the old the OG. One. Wow. Look at that. The OG system. Look at that. Oh, dude, let's check that video out. Look at that in slow mo. First Beating ever stamp down. Does it say what year that was? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's 2015. I was so 14. Yeah. Really. Yeah. This is, these are cool photos, though. That's, that's cool. After you sprayed it. That's my FXR. That's sick. What year is that? 15 January. So, videos of me back in 2015 at the Bassani headquarters on my 1992 FXR with the first Thrash and OG system doing wheelies. There it is. There it is. You gotta send me this. You have an iPhone, right? Yeah, here, let's airdrop this. I walked by and I just have to touch this and see if it's metal or plastic. It's plastic, but it looks metal. Oh, it would have been so cool if it was metal. <laughs> All right, so I just took a walk around the trade show and this booth got me stopping and asking if I can buy everything at the booth to bring this stuff home because my kid would love it. Things are rad. Look at how big this thing is. Are these sold through drag? Yeah. Wow. So, how long have these been in the catalog? Man, you guys just brought them on. I'm not part. I September? mean, I, I'm another vendor. Okay. But yeah, I. Yeah. Uh, so just brought them on like last September. Rad. This only is took your, them, this only is took your program. Years. Yeah. These are insane. They're massive. Yeah. Where, so where can somebody get this stuff? Oh, dealers. Dealers. But they're not in the mass. Okay. None of this is in Walmart. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Strictly power sports. Yeah, these are incredible. These big ones are insane. I'm from a different era. Um, I actually had, <laughs> I had a, have you heard of Jack Specifics? Yeah. So I had an action figure with Jack Specifics. Oh, okay. I rode in the X Games. Oh, man, that's true. Yeah, my name's Lance Corey. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I used to have that, but my son, my best friend at the time was Cole Seeley, and I feel like you guys made a Cole Seeley one. Yeah, we did. I mean, looking at these, I'm just insanely impressed with these massive ones. I've never seen, sorry, I'm ruining yeah, your stand-up, guys. The larger ones. Yeah. Very cool. The, I, you have these, like, sold in, in big stores, no? Um, probably something similar. Gotcha. I like these two with like the little guys. How's it going, guys? How are you? Lance. Ray, Ray Holland. Nice Brandon. to meet you, Ray. What was your name? Brandon. Brandon, nice to meet you, Brandon. I asked Juan to go interview you. He's like, I don't interview people. No, no. He said, to inter he said find somebody. And I was like, I thought of Tom, but my buddy, Tom Trobach. Oh my gosh, like 10 years. Yeah. Longer than that. How do you guys know each other? So Tom still works at Vance and Hines, as you can see. But uh, we were the guys that would day late and a couple other guys yeah. at uh, Vance and Hines. And we'd do all cool projects. We'd work on all the like new products. Yeah, just coming up with new ideas. to. And what do you do over at Vance and Hines? Um, uh, in charge of marketing now for Vance and Hines okay. uh, and also product planning. Okay. It's not quite the same though with that one there, but I'm trying to get by. <laughs> I stole them. We used to have a really good team there. Juan has left a motorcycle in your garage for way too long. <laughs> oh, what motorcycle is sitting in his garage that should get out of your garage or you should put a lean on this motorcycle? That's true. I need to charge rent for it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's actually an XR1200 built to the uh, when we used to have the XR1200 series in uh, AMA Pro Racing. Four -run to Moto America. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's sitting in my garage waiting for us to- We're gonna get it ready. Get, get, it, get it ready and start racing. We we could take it out, enter it into the BRL, BRL races, yeah. yeah. See, so you have a rad bike that could be at the thrashing shop <laughs> that we could be riding and abusing. Instead, it's collecting dust in his garage. I was gonna pick it up a week after I left it. It's been there for three years. Juan is a hoarder. He is somebody that when he gets something, he'll never sell it. He'll never use I'll it. Never Half the time, he never uses something. 
thing. It just... I, that bike is rad enough to just look. I've always wanted to get Tom to bring out the real race bikes. Vantanines has some pretty cool. You can drag pull out bikes. some real drag bikes. Yeah, oh. Th those bikes would run the record times. Really? They would be up. They there. have those at VH? No, well, at our shop in Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my actual bike. Yeah. You have that, and you don't look, ever bro. ride it. Pull up, Dan. You have that, and you don't ever ride it. Is it street legal? No. It was originally. It was originally. Yeah. So why isn't it right now? I, well, I haven't. it's been prepped for track use, so the lights are been removed. And, well, yeah. we could put the headlight and taillight back on. We could, yeah. And we could ride it. That is more my trophy, all right? That's just a trophy. Ride the trophy. That was, all right, look. It's a track bike. Look. Oh, we go to the track anyways. We go to the drag yeah. strip now. Here's, We're track guys. Here's, yeah. here's We're the track deal. guys. The first day I walked into Vance Hines, that bike was on display in the lobby. And I was like, dude, I want to get, like, I want to own that bike. And I was eventually, 10 years later, able to buy it. Retirement trophy from Vance Hines. Gotcha. Wow, that's a nice retirement. Camera was off. He's like, I'm getting a new exhaust system. So he thinks just his exhaust after I put a cam in is going to help him beat me, but it's not. 100%. Now that it's going to have the new exhaust that I'm getting. Well, let's go look at this new right, exhaust. Let's go, check it out. let's go check it out. Right now, Juan's got our pro pipe on his bagger. Really the standard bearer of our two into ones. Uh, we've been making the pro pipe since 1995. It's now in its like fifth generation. The great pipe, it's a full length two into one. And I know Juan's looking for something maybe a little bit shorter, a little bit sexier. Yeah. So we just announced here at the MVP Product Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Our new Super Sport 2-into-1, it's a mid-length 2-into-1. Uh, it's also all 304 stainless. We also have our high output RR, uh, which you've seen, which is like a short 2-into-1. It's a little more raw. It doesn't have beach shields on it. See, that's and gonna be sick. Here we are. That's pretty sweet. Stainless, yeah, so it's got a, a little bit longer header like the way your Pro Pipe has. Full length heat shields over the header, full collector heat shield. It's got a little bit of that Pro Pipe style type of collector shield to it, all hand TIG welded. Our history really began in sport bikes in the 80s and 90s. Took some of the styling elements of some of our older sport bike exhaust and hence the name Super Sport 2 into one which was a system we made for a long time. The tip is cool. It's a, kind of a pie cut, kind of a nice aggressive sharp angle on it. Why did Frankie get the first on and not me. Yeah, why isn't this? This should be Juan's bike. Yeah, why isn't my bike? That's yeah. messed up, bro. I'm Everyone would love Frankie. to come by and see Juan's bike. Not only is Juan's bike just rad and deserves it, but yeah. it is a race steed. Winning race steed. Yeah, you saw the vlog. I know, it yeah, that's right. The I know, yeah. This could have helped me smoke up even more. <laughs> well, maybe we'll, we'll get this on your bike for the rematch. You guys are to secretly put some sort of big board kit in Juan's bike. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. London, Ontario, Canada. Oh, wow. Right on. Watch your guys' shows all the time. Love well, your shit. Thank, thank you. you. I want you to tell the camera about this FXR over here. Well, so it's, a, it's, it's a, a cool looking bike. It's black. It's got custom paint. I don't know who painted it. Uh, Bondo painted the bike. All right. Uh, we built it at the shop. Okay. So kind of a few of us at the shop had our hands on it. O3 uh, drivetrain. Yes, it's a O2 to O8 bagger swing arm. The okay. wheels are parts and accessories Harley Davidson wheels. Yep. I believe they call those lightning stars. What year would those wheels have been in the PA catalog? Early 2000s. Okay. Bunch of fueling stuff in the engine. Did a custom gauge mount for the thrash and risers. Uh, diamond lane cycle tubes. What's up? Your fairing, dude, is it for sale yet? Uh, yes. Your uh, creation, is, your baby? We are releasing the mini fairing today. Wow. So this is one of our first samples that made it on a bike. I put 500 miles on this bike in a week and I actually have a carbon FXR that has a carbon mini yeah, fairing on it. Yeah, you showed them that. Yep, yep. So that bike, I have about 3,000 miles on the fairing. Way better than a T-Sport fairing wind-wise. Obviously not as good as the full, full size. size. I was just going to ask you, I know you know the scale, or it, do you know the scale difference? Is it one and a half? Is, is it it's 60%? What's the size? I think we shrunk it about 33%. It looks way smaller percentage-wise. So what do you call that, two-thirds scale? So basically, we shrunk it to fit the five and three quarter headlight. Gotcha. Scaled the fairing off of the headlight ring. Cool. So instead of a seven inch headlight, you can use your headlight on an FXR, a Sportster, any. One nice thing that I see is you have like all the modern bagger brakes on this thing. Yep, so you have these cool like lights on your uh, crash bar. FXR division crash bar with the floodlights. The drivetrain is 03 bagger. What, an 88 inch or? Uh, it's a fueling 95. With a 42 great. Makuni? 42 Makuni. Still a five speed. I'd like to throw a six speed in it, but just haven't got around to it. Rear master, 
I modified the frame slightly over there. I wanted to keep FXR mids on it. <clears throat> so on this side to fit the twin cam, I had to uh, machine to bung and move the mount out one inch. Yep. A lot of the people that do the twin cams, they'll do, they'll just weld on dyna bungs onto the frame yep. to run dyna mids. I wanted to keep it FXR. Cool. 5,000 miles on it. It runs great, rides great. Barnett clutch, a bunch of thrash and stuff. Juan, I got this for you. What time is it? No, <laughs> no. Uh, what's Come the matter on. with it? That means it's 4.30. Night is just getting started. It's 4.30. We've been here since 8. Where's your... I didn't get one. I, have I didn't have a ticket. Up, yeah. All right, Juan only has three days in town next week. Then he's going back to the hometown of Guadalajara. So we got three days. You're going to be home to put a camera in the 117? Three days? In, we have, it only takes a, five hey, hours. I, I want all your viewers to know I'm a family man. I got to get home, spend a, spend a little time with the kids. Two these guys roll into town. I love these guys, but they are a little high maintenance. <laughs> Look, here you go. Whoa. Look, Look see, thank, you. You. thank you. Hey, see that? Crack that thing open. All right, cheers. cheers. So cheers. what, we'll be at your Bud shop. So we'll be at your shop on Tuesday. Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Tuesday, you you down? You can't. See, guys, we're trying to make this happen. I'm trying to get the 117 to smoke the 107. Wednesday? Did you see? Did you see the damage? Did you see how bad I smoked Lance? I did. I did see the CVO spinning a little bit. Did you guys warm the tires up properly? I think I overwarmed them up. I also, <laughs> I I also don't know uh, how old my tires are. He also, are. He also dumped really the clutch. You don't dump the clutch to get it out of it. When, I, when we did the drag strip, and there was no there was no light. We were just on the strip, but for that Harley trip on the Dyna, yeah. I dumped the clutch and was wheeling. And you wheeling because they laid down freaking fresh stick up. We're on the, we're doing the, well, the cars are there. Just, they yeah, it was all wet. They were like putting water down yeah, to let the tires the middle and all the cars are. I would like to see the same package. That's what I would. That's what I would like to see. Yeah. Like, all right. So you to be honest, the 472 was made for the 117. That's what we're originally designed it for. Boy over there, he says, let's go 508. Bigger cam, but we got to do I spring jobs. I'm going with a little little 508, more but yeah. to the that's, motor. that's springs. Oh. Oh, springs. So you got, hey, we shimmed his, his rockers. Let's spring my top end. That means heads are coming off. And then, yeah. then you, you might know, as well part and polish. You might, and you then might then as well do a valve job. And then the heads well. are off. Might as well put a little right. bigger display. Literally this week is good. So see, guys, I'm trying. I want to let one know the 117 will. We might still be one or two more weeks out, guys. Day one at the Drag Specialties MVP show is over with, but the night is just getting started. And Juan said he is going to have a lot of drinks tonight. Isn't that right, Juan? What did I say? <laughs> what? I'm the, I'm the guy from Home Alone. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> boys. Cheers. Oh, and yeah. yeah, Perry. Look at how much fun Juan's having. You all right, dude? I'm literally using my fingers. I'd prefer it not on the vlog. <laughs> this one's pissed. 130, bro. Let's go. Oh, wait, I can't grab that. Okay, Come on here, over here, Juan. All right, Come what'd you get me? What'd you sign me for? I don't know. Of course, you're single man. Oh, cheers. cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Yeah. yeah, boys. Who's paying for these? Paid for by Saddleman. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> ball of fire. That you did change the ball of fire. It just warmed up my whole like esophagus. Inside. Yeah. Oh. You smile for the camera. Jeez. Thank you. Come on, now. <laughs> Wait, how do you how do you come back with Coors Light? We had whiskey. All right, so let's chug those, shotgun them. We'll get some whiskey. Whee! There's a Harry, there's a Jake, okay. there's a Luke, you know a Luke, no, there's, a, there's a Lance, Man. and this is good. there's a Juan. Oh, Jack, Jack the Box. <laughs> well, we got one. <laughs> oh, 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 no um, I forgot the other names. Lance and what? Uh, Lance and Jake. Lance and Jake. Uh, Wow, that was pretty good. And the yeah. fact that she guessed one right that off the was bat. The hardest one. <laughs> like that was what are those? <laughs> dude, we're inside. Not even it's the stretching goal. Hey. Guys, Beanie. Hey. Look, matchy beanies with Jake. Our buddy Luke is like town mayor when you come to these uh, motorcycle events, these trade shows. Yeah. We're here, we all sat down at the table. All the boys. Where's Luke? I don't see him, he's not here. Luke hasn't made it to the table. There he is. We're gonna have a quick dinner. I'll show you guys what we eat. Thank you. Cheers, Luke. Jake. 
we have yeah, boys. Where you from? Medium rare pork chop. Medium rare pork chop. Oh, Look at that thing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, here it is. Before the acid cats. Green door. We went last night. Last year, Juan got on the horse. You gotta do it again. Yeah, it's tradition. Alright, this is tradition. Go, it's tradition. No. And uh we're Acid cap. All right, what's acid cap? It's like, uh, it's, got that, it's got that battery tongue light. There's no sign in the building. Look at this, nothing. It's 114. What's up, no acid cats? Cats? No cats? What's up, dude? No acid cats, dude? The place is closed? Yeah, not a business. It really didn't work out for that guy. Not a Dang business, it. they're closed. Last night, the acid cat was open. Green door was open last night. What? Tonight, closed. closed. They don't even have an open sign, so you don't even know if they're open or not. Brother, you were struggling with the whiskey, so I ordered you class A. Thank you. Hey, bro, look at this Mustang cop car, though. <laughs> That was a letdown, and I apologize to you guys. And I apologize that there was no tacos tonight. Hey, it wasn't our night. It wasn't our night. No tacos, no acid. Next year, next year. <laughs> next year is going to be a lot better. Wind chill advisory, it's 11 degrees. All right, guys. Thank you much for following along the whole day. Uh, again, this is kind of behind the scenes of the industry. You know, we had a lot of things planned. Some things went our way. A lot of things didn't go our way. We didn't get tacos. We didn't get the acid cap. But thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, catch you later. See you later.